welcome in this video we are going to be looking in once more at your declension endings in Greek and the definite articles that will be almost always paired with the noun, agreed with that noun, obviously, in case number and gender. We've already seen from the other video that the endings of the declensions are very much going to be similar to the uh, endings, for lack of a better word, or forms uh, that the definite articles have. Uh, so once again, looking at the chapter 1 beta that we are currently on, you have here toe and then a grow. You can certainly see the similarities that is there, dative singular, obviously, and then tone, a grown, and so forth and so on. However, there are some instances in which they are not going to be identical. You see it here in the nominative, whole helios, uh, that are slightly different, and other instances as well where you can see it with tone and herma, that being a third declension word, and so it is not going to very much match up with those endings that we see in the first and second declension because it's an entirely different declension altogether. So for every single day, for the last, oh, I don't know how long, three, four weeks, something like that, on the board as the Greek class has entered has been the following chart. So what I do is that I put up here a set of three words, and I get these three words from the list, that is the official vocabulary list, for the National Greek Exam that is taken by Greek students in late February, and uh, use those as the examples for what we have up here on the board. So the first word of the first declension feminine I took is arete, that you can see that is here. And on the left hand blank in front of arete should be all of the definite articles, and on the right hand side the blank is going to be the ending, and they, for the most part, are going to match up identically. So we go through it and make sure that we have them all right. And again, as per usual, I'll be embedding, or I should say the Greek class will be embedding, certain items that you're going to put in to earn yourself a free 100 by watching this short, simple video to review our definite articles and the nouns they go with. So, hey, arete, and particularly in two instances am I going to require you as uh, coming up here to the board, and of course, as you can see, these endings were written by students, not me, the accents on all of the forms after I've given you the first one. And so that is because as we go through hey, arete, tes aretes, and hey, arete, we always remember the date of singular, Iota subscript. That is a Iota subscript indeed. Is that for both the genitive and the dative, when you have the accent over the last syllable, which will be the ending, the ultima, and always on the definite article, you have a particular accent, and that accent is a circumflex, which is why you have that, and that written by a student coming up here to the board. And we come to your first word that you need to know for your free easy 100. Your first word, and it's one word, is circumflex. S, I mean C I R C U M F L E X. That is it. <laughs> so make sure you get that first letter correct. It is C, circumflex. That's indeed the one you need. Alrighty, so going on, we have hi, aratai, tone, aratone, tais, aratais, and tas, aratas. And hopefully you can see how they match up almost identically in most of the spots. The only spot in which it does not match up almost identically is going to be that really there is none for this one. And sometimes you have it where it doesn't match up in the nominative like what you can see over here, but it should be rather straightforward and easy. We move on to the second declension, masculine. When we have the second declension, masculine, Again, you have to make sure you get your accents correct, because on this one, in the instance we're going to see, is that it starts out, does the accent right here, an acute of the first syllable with that smooth breathing, ho anthropos, but when we then put it into the genitive and dative, it has now, as the ending, a long value. All diphthongs are long in their value. And what they are going to do is that they are going to drag that accent from one syllable down towards it. That is why you can see that it is moved to anthropu, to anthropo, and ton anthropon. Because it is omicron nu and a short value, it is not going to drag it. But when we go to the plural, hoi anthropoi, whatever reason, the rule is, is that even though it is a diphthong, when it is the diphthong ending of the nominative plural, it doesn't have the ability to drag the accent down towards it. Ton anthropon, it did drag it there, to, or toys, I should say, anthropois, it did drag it there, and then to 
Anthropus. The other thing that you need to be aware of uh, when dealing with these sorts of things we'll see and talk about on our third row. But we come to your second word that you need to put in for that easy entry 100, and it's just the same word as what I was talking about that a second ago. Your second word is accent. A C C E N T. That's it. Most words in Greek have to have them, and there are certain things that obviously go on as with the dragging of it down close towards it. So we move on to our third column, which is that of second declension neuter, and whereas this word arete is the word in Greek that means excellence, anthropos is the word that means, of course, human, now we have dendron, which is the word for tree, and where we get the word dendrology. But uh, here it is neuter. Now, the first thing you notice when it is here, somebody who has come up here and done it, they have bracketed what you should bracket, because we all know that for neuter words, the nominative and accusative are identical, which is why you have it bracketed here and bracketed here. And so it is to dendro, and I myself have made a huge mistake in that I have not put the accent on it. Here it is going to be there, 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 there. And so it is an acute accent that can't be actually dragged all the way, but it is still going to be obviously on that same spot because it can't does the long value drag it onto in and of itself. Instead, it just allows it to stay there. If it had been an accent on the syllable previous to that, it would have drug it down one, but here there's no place obviously to drag it. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that Note correctly how that is a grab, and that is a grab, that is a grab, and that is a grab. The reason why they are all a grab is that, remember, when an acute accent, which is the one with the positive slope, like what we have there, is going to be on the final syllable of the word, it's on the final syllable, ta, because it only has one syllable, it will turn into a grab if there is another word following it, and when it is an article, there will always be a word following it, it's noun, with no intervening punctuation. So that brings us to our third word, which is a title of accent, the one that turns into a grave. The third word is acute. A-C-U-T-E. Acute. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so there it is, acute. Uh, and so we have no longer an acute, uh, but a grave. No longer an acute and a grave. To dendron, to dendru, to dendro, and to dendron. Identical in the accusative and in the nominative. Uh, down to the plural, the second rule that we have concerning uh, uh, neuters is that uh, the nominative plural and accusative plural always end with A. In this instance, alpha. That's the Greek A. And so it's ta dendra, ton dendro, tois dendrois, and ta dendra. And again, the whole reason why I pair it like this to practice every day is to show that close relationship in similarity of how they look between the definite article and the actual ending. Now, one more thing to point out here, and that is the universal truth concerning the genitive plural. The genitive plural always has own regardless. So it is own for first feminine, own for second masculine, and own for second neuter, which then would lend itself to the definite article being tone, 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 which reminds me of that band from the early 90s, I think it was an R&B group, that went by the name Tony, 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 just like we have Tone, tone, tone. And what was funny about that band is that all three of those Tonys spelled their name a different way. And that brings us to the fourth and final item. Final word is Tony. T-O-N-Y. So he chose the spelling not of one of those Tonys, not of the second of the Tonys, but the T-O-N-Y Tony. And that is it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this short little uh, video to help you see how we've been pairing it up every day in class, trying to learn our ending. So that's it. Uh, you have your four words. Thanks so much to my Greek class. Give yourself a good hand. There it is. See you later.